Yahira, Yah Yahira. Mom, I'm filming. Hey friends, hey friends, hey friends, it's me and Alana. Welcome back to my channel. some flowers in a world full of weeds. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Alana. For this video, I am going to be doing my November wrap up. As you can see, I am a reindeer in this video. It was unintentional, but we're going with it. So I read seven books in November. I don't know what was going on because that's the best I've done all year. Also, the fact is that I was also working a lot in November, so I I still really don't know how I was able to read all of these books. <laughs> it's not about the number of books you read, it's the fact that you're reading, but it's still kind of cool when you get to accomplish something that you didn't think you were gonna do, I guess. First book I read was a graphic novel, and that is Fangs by Sarah Anderson. She does the Sarah Scribbles. Like, I don't know if you've seen those comics online or anything, and I love her as an artist. So the fact that she has this out too as a graphic novel is super cool. I really enjoyed it. It's about a vampire and a werewolf who meet and basically like, fall in love and get into a relationship and it's just kind of the story of just their relationship and it's very cute i love it i thought it was adorable and funny at the same time so i definitely recommend if you're looking for a good halloweenish graphic novel that's like still cute and fun next i read another graphic novel and that was beast boy by cami garcia and gabriel piccolo i loved raven which was the first one in the series and so i was so glad when they did beast boy next this was super fun and cool and I am just enjoying this series so much. The next book is I think about when Beast Boy and Raven meet and that makes me so so excited. I'm hoping that they can get it to where they get to do a Starfire one because Starfire is my favorite Teen Titan ever so that would be really cool. Also Gabriel Piccolo is such an amazing artist. I follow them on Instagram and I think that they do such a good job of just like drawing these characters and you can tell they really love the story. Next I have one more graphic novel and that is Eat and Love Yourself by Sweeney Boo. So I saw my friend Chanel from Chanel Time get this and it looked really good. Like I love the art styles. It's about a girl who just ha struggles with an eating disorder. Also trigger warnings for that because she does struggle with an eating disorder and just disordered eating and body dysmorphia and stuff like that. And so she discovers this like chocolate and she buys it and every time she takes a bike, bite it takes her back to certain memories that triggered her disorder eating that like kind of it shows her like where it kind of started I guess if that makes sense or at least her insecurities I don't know if I'm making sense with this but it was really good I really liked it I thought it was a really good story and again the art was really beautiful so I'm definitely glad that I read this. Next I read A Match Made in Mahandi by Nandini Bajpai. I gave this five stars. I loved this so much. It was so adorable. It's about a girl who grows up in this Indian family and they have a history of being matchmakers. Like the women in her family are really good at just matching people together in their culture. And so one day she happens to help her cousin out in meeting this boy and so her family is now convinced that she has the uh, gene too and that she has like the special ability that they all have with the matchmaking. And so she's unsure if that's what she really wants to do. She really loves art so she'd rather be doing that honestly. But she decides it would be cool to make an app, like a matchmaking app for her school. 
and match up some of the students in there and some of her friends and everything and it was really cool i thought it was adorable i really loved getting to know more about like indian culture starting with their food and like just the sayings they have and the beliefs i think it was it was really really cool <laughs> honestly i loved it and i was like oh i want to read more stuff like this too i thought the romance was really adorable between her and the love interest they were both like nerdy and i love that for them her cast of like friends were super cool too especially her best friend i thought he was the cutest thing ever and I just really love this overall so if you're looking for a cute contemporary I think this would be a fun one to pick up next I read clap when you land by Elizabeth Acevedo I listened to the audiobook of this and it was so so good I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it with the verse um, just because I don't really read verse books that often but listening to the audio definitely helped and I loved just learning about these sisters and listening to the story and everything so this is about two girls who find out that their sisters when their dad dies in a plane crash and it's them realizing there's this other person and there that other person is really the only person who could understand how they're feeling with their grief but they also still live two different lives and they have to like recognize that with each other as well so like the one sister i think it's Camino, she lives in the Dominican Republic and she's trying to get to America so she can go to school and have a better education Whereas I think you hired doesn't even really know what she wants to do yet But it's the fact that like she kind of has the privilege to be able to have that Whereas um, Camino wants this better better future for herself. She wants to get off the island and she wants to Really live a better life than what the island can provide. I think it was really good I loved the fact that they really got to understand each other and know each other and I really loved Elizabeth Acevedo's writing so I'm definitely looking forward to reading her other books as well. The next book I read was Red Queen by Victoria Aveyard. This was thanks to Erin from Booked and Busy and Kay from I Love Books OK. Me, Erin, uh, Kay, and then Justice all buddy read this. <laughs> And I loved this so much. I gave it five out of five stars. I hadn't really been interested before because I missed the boat with this, but picking it up now, I'm like, wow, this is so interesting. And I love the plot and the storyline. So it's about Mare, who is a red, and they're a group of people who have red blood who are basically oppressed by the silvers, who are people with silver blood. They're treated as gods, basically, and they rule everything. And so something happens where Mare ends up getting discovered to have abilities that should only belong to the silvers, even though she does have red blood. And from there, she's like stuck in this political plot and striving to just make a better life for herself and her people. I really loved the story. I thought it was so good. There were some really funny moments with Mare. Like sometimes I'd be like, girl, what are you thinking? Like, are you really gonna say that right now? And then the two princes, I was like, both of them are sus because I don't trust anybody. But again, it was really good. I already bought the rest of the books, so I'm definitely gonna be working through this series now. <laughs> So, I don't know, if you've been on the fence to try and read this, I definitely recommend it because it's so good. If you like, I will say, if you liked In Ember in the Ashes, this gives off the same kind of vibes. Obviously, different stories, different plots, of course. But if you liked that vibe of Ember, I think it's in here too, at least for me. So, if that helps you too definitely check this out. And the last but not least book that I read was One of Us is Next by Karen M. McManus. This is the companion to One of Us is Lying. It takes place in the same city but just with a different cast of characters but the characters from the first book do make some pretty good appearances throughout this which I loved. Um, this was so good. I gave it five out of five stars. Karen did it again and I love her writing and her plots and just her characters in general. She really does a good job of making you care for her characters while trying to also figure out who is doing the killing and stuff. I wasn't sure where this was gonna go and I love the fact that this plot was completely different from the first book but still 
kept the same like characters i feel like that's such a hard thing to do but it was it was good again the ending made me gasp like always i feel like her endings always end on one of those like gasping worthy moments because she reveals something and then you're like what the heck how can you just end it like that and this one basically ended the same way so the first book was about her five kids who went into detention and one of them dies so this kind of carries on from that but obviously it doesn't focus on that anymore like that's still sprinkled into this though so when you go into this they're still dealing with the repercussions from the first book and there are elements from that first book that get tied into this where someone has created a game where they send out mask texts to the whole school and they pick a person and the person has to pick, decide truth or dare and if they choose dare they have to completely eat the dare within 24 hours or a secret will get revealed and if they do truth obviously they have to answer a question truthfully if they ignore it completely a secret gets revealed anyways so it's about uh phoebe mauve who is the sister of bronwyn from the first book and Knox, and they all have to deal with the repercussions of this game and because of this game someone ends up dying and so now that it's so serious that they have to figure out who the creator is and who's trying to off people basically so i loved it i thought it was really good i thought the way the story went went with it was very intriguing i had guessed like one portion of it like i kind of had an idea but then that other half of the explanation i was not expecting so i was like well dang definitely looking forward to more of her books if you are interested in reading her books i definitely recommend it i think this one is a good one to read too obviously i think you should read one of us is lying first though because otherwise it gets a little confusing with all the people and the names all right so that is my november wrap up if you like the video please give it a good old thumbs up down below if you have any comments on any of the books i read whether you've read them and liked them or not please leave that down below in the comment section if you're not good at commenting i'm gonna go ahead and say leave me an emoji and if you want to see more videos from me hit that subscribe button you are all sunflowers in a world full of weeds